Visco. Hi everyone, welcome to Visco. Today I'm going to show you how to configure high vision radiator. So this is the DS TMG 4B0. So this specific model is dash LP model, which is it comes with the left hand side boom board. So for this one, uh, it comes with the 4 meter boom board, but we will quick stop for the telescopic boom board, which is the 2.4 meter to 4.5 meter boom board. So for the uh, this barrier gate is actually the entry level barrier gate from the high vision. So the falling and rising speed is up to 3 seconds if you are using the 4 meter boom pole. But if you are using a longer boom pole, uh, such as the 6 meter one, so the rising and falling speed can be up to 6 seconds. So for this uh, barrier gate, uh, it comes with the AC motor. And now uh, let us see how to install and configure this high vision barrier gate. So before we start with wiring and configuration, first we need to install this boom pole here. So to install the boom pole, we just simply place the boom pole into the boom pole bracket and then by using this uh, 4 unit pole, you can just bolt it together. So for this, the bracket does not come with empty collision boom pole, but for Visco, we will keep stop for the bracket that comes with the empty collision boom pole. So first, we need to open the front cover. So if you got a radar, you can install your radar here. Just simply pop out this plastic cover, then you can fix your radar here. So for the radar location, it got on the both side, whether on the left side or on the right side. So on the inside here, you will see a controller box. So on the controller box, you can see the wiring diagram and the information of the controller box. So to remove the controller box, you can unscrew here and then you can just take out the controller box cover. So for the wiring part, we need, first we need to connect the AC power. So we got the earth, neutral and line. You can connect it here. So I connect the earth terminal. Next the neutral. And then life terminal. Okay now for the radar, if you are using the radar, there will be two wire from the radar. So let's say this blue wire is coming from my radar. So for the radar, you can connect to the ground port here and then the DG port here. So first I connect my first wire to the ground port here. And then the second one to the DG port here. So next, if you are using the camera to control the barrier gate, normally there will be four wire total from the camera. So the first two wire is coming from the relay one and the second two wire is coming from the relay two wire. So let's say this orange and white orange wire is coming from my relay one output from the camera. So I connect this relay one wire and the ground for the relay one on the open and ground. Okay, now we already connect the relay one wire to port terminal and ground terminal. Second one is the relay two wire. For the relay two wire, we need to connect to the closed port and also the ground port. Okay, so now that we already done all the wiring for the AC power, radar and also the relay output from the camera. So next, if you notice on the controller board, there is a deep switch here. It got four switch. So the first one is for the memory function. Then the second one is to set open position and close position way. The third one is for the closed loop detector or for the radar. And the last one is for the auto close function. So since we are using the radar, so we need to turn on the number three deep switch. So that's when there is no vehicle coming, the NT4 radar will detect that there is no vehicle then it will close the, radar, the barrier gate but if you are not using any radar then you can turn off the number 3 deep switch and then you can turn on the number 4 deep switch so that uh, whenever there is no vehicle coming after 10 seconds the barrier gate will automatically close so now I am going to simulate a car coming through so as you can see once there is no vehicle coming the barrier gate will automatically close due to the radar function. So other than the camera triggering, I can also use the provided remote control 
to open and close the barrier gate. For example, click unlock to open and I can click lock to close the barrier gate. I can also click stop to make it stop halfway. For example, click lock then click stop then it will stop halfway. Then I can click lock again to make it close fully. So another function of this barrier gate is that it got the rebound function. So which is uh, whenever the boom pole mistakenly hits the pedestrian or vehicle, it will automatically rebound back. So let us try now. So as you can see, the boom pole will automatically rebound back whenever it mistakenly uh, hit the vehicle or pedestrian. So that is how you install and configure the high vision barrier gate DS-TMG4B0-LA. So see you again on the next video. Thank you. Visco.